I was just sifting through Instagram, the Instagram pictures, and I noticed this picture put up by Ors Kalitsinski or Kalsinski. Can you guys believe this? He looks big compared to Nick Walker. This picture was taken, if I'm not mistaken now, I believe he posted that, or he, he, he stated that this picture was taken right before, a couple of days before the 2021 Mr. Olympia event, where they all did compete together. So this is very interesting for more than uh, one reason. Fuad Obiad on his channel, he suggested that the classic physique just uh, they get rid of it. I think he said something along them lines, and for the them to go up to open. Now could could K Chael Sinski compete with the open class? Judging by this picture, of course. And then you have the two twelve division. A lot of talk about the two twelve division going up to the open class. Sean Clarita there, of course he's wearing a shirt, so you can't see if he's being out angled by by either either of the guys. But very interesting, and of course. Greg Doucette went on and said that it's utterly, utterly ridiculous to, to, for the men's classic physique to go up to open, and he suggested they have a third division for just natural athletes. So you could keep your classic and then get even smaller and then keep your open, of course. But anyway, anyway, I suggested, and this was, I think, before that, had nothing to do with it, I suggested they have an overall at the end of the night. And if it was a smaller show, these guys very well could be the winners of their divisions. So it could be a three-way match between these guys. I thought it would be interesting. I personally wanted to see it myself. And I thought it would be something you guys would enjoy. And could be three future Mr. Olympia champions as well. And if my idea does take root, where they do have a, you know, a final matchup, the overall for the best built man of the night, and uh, for the overall Olympia title as well, it would be very interesting to see how these guys do stack up against each other. But not only that, but Fuad Obiad's idea of the classic physique going up to the open. Would they stand a chance? Mm -hmm. Let's run through these shots and see. And Right out of the shoot. Right out of the beginning. There is no way on this earth that the men's classic physique division can compete with the men's open. I don't even think they can compete with the 212. There's, there's just too much muscle per inch. I mean, actually, Clarita, he's not that big per inch, and he's short, too. It's strange, because he's big, but he's only 185, I think, something something along them lines. So he wouldn't be, you know, he, he would have to lose some weight to get to Classic, but not as much as a Nick Walker. Nick Walker would have to lose... 175 pounds well not that much but you'd have to lose quite a bit there'd be no way that he could make classic no way guys and there's no way that Kelsinski's competing with Bumstead it would make uh, no sense to even do a, an overall but the 212 hmm not in this pose but other poses he could catch uh Nick Walker and other open class athletes and in this shot here even uh, Ors looks fantastic, but it's just overwhelming size. I mean, look at the lag difference of Nick Walker and Kalasinski. I think the the best of both worlds, the muscle condition, muscle separation, you guys know what I'm going to say here. That uh, Sean Clarita, he seems to really nail this shot. Look at that midsection. It's just too much. For Nick Walker, with all due respect, but the man looks fantastic in all of the other shots. This is his weakest one, by far, by far. Turn to the side here and see how much competition there is, in fact, between the Classic, the Open, and the 212. These guys are not just cream puffs. These guys are top-ranked, top-shelf, the good kind, eight bucks. The good kind of athlete in each division. In all three cases, they're going to be going for an Olympia title. Of course, one former Olympia champion, of course, in Clarita. But who knows? He might be going up to the Open. And it, 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 to me, there is competition. There is room to wiggle for the 212 athletes to go up to the Open. But does it make sense? Mm, no, that's where I think an overall title would do just fine. At the end of the night. And that way they could keep the 212. Which it does have a lot of fans. It 
does, and it confuses things when you have that many guys out there. But as far as the classic physique, I think I maybe have been shooting my mouth off a little bit too much. Maybe Bumstead. Bumstead's so good. Can Ors, the Miracle Bear, catch these guys from behind? No. No. It's not only the size, but the condition. The open class condition. The open class, or the 212 condition as well. Awesome. Now, that type of condition is competitive, but make no mistake about it. When, uh, when that condition and quality is even. Size matters, and Nick Walker is as big as a house. Wide as a barn door, uh, a la Tominator. I mean, the guy is incredible from behind. There's no rear lat spread pitcher from Ors. It's a, a terrible pitcher anyway for Nick Walker. It wasn't even fair to use. Abs and thigh. Now the Miracle Bear gets back in the game here. I would give him the front lat spread between Walker, realistically. But he was winning on aesthetics, all of the other... Uh, points in that victory were uh, for Nick Walker size muscularity condition all those things all that nature but I mean it was overwhelming in the abs and thigh hey Walker looks awesome as well so you can't count him out in a shot like this making the miracle bear kind of obsolete in a matchup like this but the 212 division I gotta say I give them uh high hopes for and ah, I don't want them to go up altogether. I want them to keep the 212. Shouldn't you be allowed to compete in the open until you, you know, prove yourself as a 212 athlete and then do an op uh, an overall at the end of the night? But that's just me, guys. That's just me. Clarita is competitive. Now, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I couldn't find the most muscular of Ors, so I made this freakishly strange most muscular here out of uh out of his other arm. Looks kind of creepy. Wow. Wow. So, the moral of the story, ladies and gentlemen, is my overall all idea. Putting the classic physique in the, uh, the overall. That's kind of a write-off, in my opinion, that is. I don't think it would be a good idea, is what I'm saying. And, Fuadabiyad's idea of... And they were just brainstorming, guys. They were just brainstorming. I'm not, you know, pooping on them. I'm just saying that... The idea of going, the, putting the classic guys up to the open? No. No. Just doesn't make sense. It is perfect for their type of genetics. What they want to accomplish in their life, in their career. It's good. Now, as far as the 212, I don't like this. But, yeah, they could get rid of it. And they could be very competitive in the open. But that's where I like an overall. Maybe do an overall with 212. And forget classic overall for 212 and open and you know call it a day anyway that's that's my opinion on the the matter poor Ors. <laughs> thank you tore his pack hit thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not already have a great day